now then. It's been, uh, I think, a couple of weeks since the last time we did a video. And that's fine, you know, been a bit busy and stuff. However, I feel like there's no better time for me to make videos than like this kind of period, you know, Halloween. However, I feel like I'm not dressed in character. So let's fix that. There we go. So like, this is about the right kind of character we're going for. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, why have I decided to be in character this time? Well, we'll talk about that later on. But all we need is a couple of props, these two, and I'll discuss with you the ideas of this video. Now, let's go. So for my first horror themed episode, I wanted to kind of bring it back, I guess, to, I guess, someone who you could consider the father, the grandfather of horror, basically. And that person is H.P. Lovecraft. Now, they have made a series pretty recently called Lovecraft Country. And I thought, you know what, why not also make something, you know, with inspiration from that as well? Kind of, a little bit, tiny bit, I guess. Because, you know, because the thing is, I really do like H.P. Lovecraft's work. Now, I'll admit, I don't follow his mindset, you know, all that kind of stuff. However, I do like the universe he's created, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I'm a bit of a, I'm looking a bit like a detective, and that's the idea for this shoot, really, because a lot of his protagonists, his main characters, they're detectives that, they're, they're not the hero type. They're kind of, you know, uh, I guess you got, you got some issues with them. You can, you can take that however you want. But anyway, I'm all detectived up. Let's go to the first location. All right, we are here in the first location. I know I'm pretty sure this is a perfect location for what we're gonna do today. Basically, we've got the water, we've got the bench. That's all we pretty much need, along with me, a costume. Newspaper's pretty important for this, as you're gonna see. Because basically, H.P. Lovecraft, he creates worlds, which you could, I would definitely agree, has a lot of water involved, and things that are, in the water you get what i mean later on but anyway so we're here we're ready also on the walk down to the location i was thinking because originally this whole idea was supposed to be just a one shot but now i'm thinking why not just make a classic https you know what i mean so we might do that it's got to work out a couple of things but i think we're ready to go let's go for it as you can see with the footage this was all done in one take didn't really feel like I needed to do it a bunch of time, just because, again, it was very simple. Uh, the whole idea was in my head, and all I had to do was just convert it, like I said, from a one-shot idea to the photo series. I guess one of the key things when doing a photo series is really having that tripod there. It allows you to have that same frame throughout the whole series, while also allowing you to tell your narrative. As you can see, the edits are now scrolling past to the bottom. So you may need to pause the video at certain pictures, I guess, if you want to look at them in a bit more detail. However, I will be uploading these to the Instagram. And if you want to check out my other images, they will all be there as well. All right, that's the first shoot done. And you know what, that went a lot easier, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. So anyway, this part is done. On to second location for second shoot. Let's go. Okay, we are here on location two. I know it's it's not too bad at the moment. I mean, before we were shooting, and even now actually, there are people coming in and out of this path, which is all right, you know, we don't own the place, so can't really complain. But anyway, the idea for this is, well, like I said last time, that was supposed to be a one shot, but it turned into a photo series. This one, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and keep it as a one shot, you know, because I don't want to oversaturate this video with loads of photo series. So yeah, the yeah, basic idea, well, first, don't need the newspaper, uh, just because this whole, this shot is more, it's gonna, I want it to be really dynamic, really active, really action packed almost, and a newspaper just won't do that. So the idea is, so I'm gonna be running down this path away from an alien invasion, and basically the, the key thing to this is really the sky up here in this top corner because that's where like the aliens are coming down. I'm, I'm planning for there to be like ships, 
and like planes, explosions, stuff like that. I really want to make it really active. And one thing that really helps if you guys want to make kind of, you know, like an active shot is think about the camera, the, ang the camera angle and the position. What we're going to do is, so I'm going to be kind of low here running like this. But the, the, the key thing to this to make it look so good is we're going to have the camera really low and tilted, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean. But that really does help in making, I guess, an active shot. If you want to do something like that. Um, I mean, that was really it, really. I'm just thinking. What we've got to do, the only issue here, again, people coming in and out, but that's fine. We can work for that. Let's go. Honestly, it was crazy. The minute we had the camera set up, ready to go, and the time lapse camera, there were just waves of people coming in and out of the shot, in the way, coming past us. We can't really do anything about it, you know, it's a public place, so it's fine. Uh, it just made it a little bit more harder to shoot. However, as you can see, we did get it done in the end. And here is the end result for this edit. Usually, I don't really do edits to this extent. However, I don't think this is actually too bad, considering how many assets there are in this and how they've kind of merged together. So I'm pretty proud of it. Also, can you see what I was saying when I mentioned the camera angle and the positioning? As you can see, it's low down, it's angled. And to me, it really gives off that dynamic action pack look. Especially when you think about what the image could have looked like if I did just set the camera, you know, just normal and straight. I don't think it would have given off this kind of action kind of look. So here, I hope I did show you that just thinking a little bit about the camera angle and positioning as well, when you're taking your photographs, it can only really help in letting you tell your story and really drive it home. All right, that is the second shot done. And you know what, I felt like that went pretty well. Again, the only issue, like I said before, people did keep coming in and out. But again, can't control that, so it's fine. Like I said, didn't need the newspaper. That's fine. Didn't need that. Only need to pick this up. And yeah, we are ready for the third shot, which you know what? Yeah, as you can see, or maybe not be able to see yet, it is raining a little bit. It's a bit cold outside. So let's actually go inside for shot number three. All right, we are here in the third location now. And that location is just my bedroom, just because we need its black background. And you'll see why in a second. Basically with this shot, I really wanted it to be different to the other two. Just because the other ones, I felt like they were more focused on the location, the surrounding area, which is pretty cool. However, this one, I really want to set focus on the character you know so i want it pretty tight and really want the like jack said the character to be the main focus of this because again with hp lovecraft a lot of his his books his the things he writes the characters really drive home the the storytelling really so yeah let's see if we can do that i'm pretty sure we can i've got an idea in my head of what i want let's just hope we can get that done man with this one it was crazy I mean, the original idea was there and we tried it so many times. We tried different things, tried different positionings. I even tried to do different things, I guess, with the character, but it just didn't work to the way I really wanted it to. I mean, you know, it just, it's just, again, it's just one of the things it just didn't work out. So, you know, we tried a different one, which you can see in the mirror now. Um, it's literally in the mirror. It was the same idea, basically, as with the black background. However, it was more of looking at a reflection of it so I was thinking maybe that would work. Again, I feel like it didn't work. So as you can see with this last picture, which is the final edit, it's almost a blend of the previous two, where I'm trying to tell you a story, like in the photo series, but I'm also trying to show you it in one edit, which is like the alien invasion edit. So I kind of combined them two together to make this last third one. I know what I like it. I like the fact it's nice and tight on the character. The main focus is the expressions and the face and obviously the eye right at the end. But also I like that there's kind of a lead up to this story as well. Also edit wise, I did try and give it this dark, dingy kind of look, kind of faded. And hopefully to you guys, you can see kind of a, the horror element I'm trying to give here as well. All right, and that is the video. Hope you liked this one. I really did because I know for, for a long while I've been wanting to do a HP Lovecraft kind of video and now with the new series out I felt like it was there was no other better time to do it than now as you can see with this last shot it didn't really go to plan you know what we had this idea like I said with the black background but you know just I know just the the idea didn't it just it didn't go the way we wanted it to which is fine you know what I mean it doesn't always go as you plan however this I guess this is a good thing to show you that even though you have an idea 
you can you, know, you can adapt it, just change up a bit, and I guess you can you can even come out with a better result. Because I feel like I will like this new mirror shot a little bit better. Hopefully, we'll see. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.